Hello, this is Nevis and I'm going to explain in this part 2 video how to actually add those Audacity audio clips in Google Slides. We've created them in the part 1 tutorial. Now we're going to see how we're going to add those two audio clips created and add them into this presentation. So this is what we did in the first part of this tutorial. We went to Audacity, the app on our computer. We created a project. We recorded the audio clips even in more parts. We saved the project. Then we exported it, in this case, as MP3. And here is the tutorial, which is now on YouTube. You can watch it. The link is below this video. Now let's have a look at how we can actually add those audio clips to this Google slides presentation. Once we have those audio clips on our desktop, we add them to the Google Drive folder that we want. Any folder, that can be any folder, or it can be the folder that you have the same Google Slides in. Then the next step is to go to the Google Slides presentation, which is this one in our case, and select the slide that we want to add that audio clip. We go to our toolbar, click on Insert, then click on Audio, select the audio clip from Drive, then format the audio if needed. This is what the slide looks like. We have Insert in our toolbar, then we click on Audio. The next image that appears is this one. It's going to be the Google Drive folder. What I, cl I clicked on Recent, but it will only show all audio clips that you have that can be used in the slides. So uh, the two most recent ones, Audio Track 1, Audio Track 2, are the ones we created in the previous video. I can select one at a time, and I'm going to add those in, and this is what it'll look like when you add them in. That's what it looks like when you add it in, and that's Audio Track 1. You get the chance to form it. You can reposition it. You can move it around by using your mouse or you can recolor it, which is what you'll see, and resize it as well. And you can also make it transparent in those uh, slide presentations that you don't want the audio clip visible. Now let's go and see what it looks like when I've used the formatting options in the next slide. So I've added Audio Track 1. As you can see, I've changed it, changed the color, and I've added audio track to a label, and the um, I've changed the color to the icon as well. If I click on it now, we'll be able to hear it speak. This is for slide number two. Thank you for listening. Okay, so I apologize if the audio isn't perfect because it's over... Uh, going, coming out and going back in again, but not a worry, I can guarantee that it's clean and very good. Okay, that's it. Now let's go and do it. Let's see if you can do it, and if you have any problems, let me know. Okay, this is Nevis signing off. Till next time, thank you for listening.